Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing sequence and series and in this lecture I am going to discuss some problems of related to geometric mean and application of geometric progression. Uh, we have uh, started uh, this lecture uh, geometric mean in last video but uh, due to some technical error it has not been completed. Now uh, this is in continuation of the last video lecture and here I am going to discuss some problems related to geometric progression and also some application of geometric progression. So let us start this uh, lecture uh, with the problems number, question number. This is from exercise 9.3, exercise 9.3 and we are going to start from problems number 28. What is that? The sum of two numbers is six times. The problem is the sum of two numbers is six times six times their geometric mean their geometric mean geometric mean right so that the numbers are in the ratio so that the numbers are in ratio so that the numbers are in ratio show that the numbers are in ratio the numbers are in ratio of root 3 plus 2 root 2 root 3 3 plus 2 root 2 and 3 minus 2 root 2 3 plus 2 root 2 is to 3 minus 2 root 2 this is the question now we have to discuss this problem and uh, this problem is that sum of two numbers let a and b be any two numbers so solution can be started from here let a and b be any two numbers any two numbers and their geometric mean their geometric mean is geometric mean is under root a b isn't it now given that given that the sum of two numbers that is a plus b is equal to six times of their geometric mean that is six times of under root a b write down this like uh, a by root b that will be a by root under a b plus b by root under a b is equal to six this employs a root a will left in numerator and root b in denominator so that can be written as and root b is left there and root a is there and that is 6 so further it can be written as a by root b plus under root b by root a is equal to 6 this is equation if i put x is equal to here x is equal to under root a by b this employ 1 by x is equal to under root b by a and hence this expression will be x plus 1 by x is equal to 6. This employ x square plus 1 is equal to 6x and hence x square minus 6x plus 1 is equal to 0. You have uh, learned about the quadratic equation because this cannot be split into middle term. So we can write here x is equal to by using quadratic formula. Uh, 6 plus under root 6 square that is 36 minus 4 into 1 into 1 upon 2a and 2 times of a that is 1 which will come up 6 plus minus under root 32 divided by 2 that is 6 plus minus 4 root 2 divided by 2 if I divide by 2 it will be 2 3 plus 2 root 2 that will be coming 3 plus 2 root 2. So this will be 3 plus minus 2 root 2. Right now divide by 2. This is x. So x has value 3 plus minus 2 root 2. If I can write take x is equal to when x is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2. This employ a by b under root a by b is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2. And uh, 
that can be further written as a by b is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 whole square that can be written as 3 plus 2 root 2 into 3 plus 2 root 2 isn't it and if i multiply uh, further by 3 plus 2 root 2 into 3 minus plus 2 root 2 multiply by numerator and denominator 3 minus 2 root 2 3 minus 2 root 2 then what will happen 3 plus 2 root 2 will left and in denominator this is 3 minus 2 root 2 and a plus b and a minus b will be a square that is 3 square that is 9 3 square 9 minus 2 root 2 whole square is 8 9 minus 8 is 1 so what is left here that is left here a by b is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 upon 3 minus 2 root 2 right 3 plus 2 root 2 divided by 3 minus 2 root 2 and that will be the ratio 3 plus 2 root 2 and 3 minus 2 root 2 if i took x is equal to 3 minus 2 root 2 then same thing will come but in reciprocal form so therefore numbers are you can write it numbers are a is to b that is 3 plus 2 root 2 is equal to 3 minus 2 root 2. So that will be the answer. So I hope you got it. Okay. And that's it. Now the next question uh, which is coming from question number 29. And question number 29 is nothing else but uh, similar questions related to arithmetic and geometric progression. So if a and g it is given that if a and g g b a m and g m a m and g m geometric mean respectively between two positive number respectively between respectively between two positive numbers two positive numbers numbers so that the numbers are two positive numbers prove that the numbers are or so that the numbers are prove that the numbers are numbers are a plus minus under root a plus g into a minus g this is what so let us write the solution of this question how to deal with this question so for solution we can start let a and b be any two numbers two positive numbers positive numbers right so what will happen arithmetic mean a is equal to a plus b by 2 and geometric mean g is equal to under root a b isn't it using the same so therefore uh, which imply a plus b is equal to 2a and a b is equal to g a square i hope you got it now we have to calculate the value of a and this employee um, b can be written as uh, g a square by a and putting the value of b here so you will have g square by a is equal to 2a now this will be a square minus 2aa plus g square is equal to 0 this is also a quadratic equation and therefore a can be written as minus b that is 2a plus minus under root b square that is 2a whole square minus 4a is 1 and c is g square so that can be written as like this divided by 2a so that will be divided by 2a a is 1 nothing else a is 1 so we can write it 2 into 2 into 1 now this will be 2a plus minus under root 4a square minus 4g square so i can take common 4 isn't it divided by so that can be written as 2a plus minus 2 under root a square minus g square whole divided by 2. So if I took 
two common, then it will be a plus minus under root a square minus g square that is a. So a can be either positive one or negative one. If I took when a is taken as a plus under root a square minus g square, then what b will be there? And since a plus b is equal to 2a, therefore b must be equal to 2a minus a, that is 2a minus a plus under root a square minus g square, and that will be 2a minus a will be a, a minus under root a square minus g square, and this plus minus minus. So when positive one is a, then negative one is b, and when you will take negative one is a, then positive one will be b. Similarly, when a is a is a minus under root a square minus b is g square, then b will be a plus under root a square minus g square, and therefore numbers are either a plus a minus. So therefore numbers are numbers are a plus under root a square minus g square or a minus and a minus under root a square minus g square these are the answers it is written here so i hope you got it okay now the next question is question number next question is question number 30 and question number 30 is there that the number of bacteria in a certain culture the number of bacteria bacteria in certain culture doubles every hour in certain culture in certain culture double every hour every hour right now every hour if there were 30 bacteria present in culture originally if there were 30 bacteria present in culture originally originally how many bacteria will be present how many bacteria will be present present at the end of second hour fourth hour and in the third present at the end of end of second fourth and nth hour nth hour right so initially uh, 30 bacteria is present means a is 30 now let us write solution so 30 bacteria is present originally in doubles at the end of every hour so at the end of at the end of one hour bacteria will be 30 into 2 that is 60 double at the end of at the end of two hour bacteria will be 60 into 2 that is 120 at the end of three hour it can be 60 into 3 120 into 2 that is 120 into 2 that is what 240 it means this is considered as t1 first term this is the considered as t2 and this is considered as t3 so sequence r sequence r at the end of 4 hour even you can write at the end of 4 hour it will be what 240 into 2 that is 480 isn't it 
so at the end of second hour at the end of fourth hour you got it that what will be the values at the end of second hour at the end of fourth hour this these are the value but what will be at the end of so sequence are sequence are sequence are 60 120 240 480 like this which are in gp sequence are in gp and common ratio common ratio is nothing else but 120 by 60 that is 2 and therefore t nth term of the sequence is a r to the power n minus 1 you know na? don't take a is 30 because a is 60 so nth hour at the end of nth hour it will be a r to the power n minus 1 so 60 into r r is 2 2 to the power n minus 1 that will be answer so 60 times into 2 to the power n minus 1 that will be answer okay so this will be the answer i i hope you got it okay even you can write it 30 into 2 into 2 to the power n minus 1 so it looks like better 30 into 2 to the power n minus 1 so it can be 30 into 2 to the power n 2 to the power n any one of them can be considered as or 15 into 2 to the power n plus 1 anything can be written in simplified form so that will be the answer now let us discuss question number 31 and 31 question is there and in this question it is given here that uh, what will be what will rupees amount what will uh, rupees 500 amounts to in 10 year amounts to in 10 years after its deposit after its deposit after its deposit in a bank in a bank which pay annual interest which pay annual interest annual interest rate at 10 percent compounded annually at 10 percent compounded annually compounded annually right so at the end of first year what will happen sorry so here amount will increase amount after one year will be amount after one year one year will be 500 principal plus interest and interest is 500 into 1 10 into 1 by 100 you can do that right so this will be uh, this can be written as 500 if I will take common then that will be 500 into 1 plus 1 by 10 that is 11 by 10 500 into 11 by 10 this formula is uh, written for this is for one year for two year it will be like this for three year power will be three right now so there is a formula every time similarly amount after two year will be year will be 500 in into plus 500 interest interest it will be 500 this amount interest will be on this amount only so that would be 500 into 1 plus that is 11 by 10 whole square 11 by 10 whole square right now 1 plus r by 100 power 2 this will be and etc so interest of amount after 10 year will be therefore amount after 10 year will be 500 into 11 by 10 to the power 10 that would be answer simple formula is that that amount is remember you have heard it right amount 
amount is amount a is p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power time so this is a formula and uh, on the basis of this formula as well principal is 500 r is 10 divided by 100 and time is 10 so 0 0 cancel and that will be nothing else but 500 1 plus 1 by 10 is 11 by 10 whole to the power 10 so it is not easy to calculate it will be difficult so right answer in this way only now let us discuss question number two if am and gm of the roots of quadratic equation the roots of a quadratic equation quadratic equation are 8 and 5 are 8 and 5 respectively find quadratic equation find the quadratic equation quadratic equation right so how to deal with let uh, quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c right now. solution let quadratic equation be quadratic equation b ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 whose roots are roots are alpha and beta then arithmetic mean of roots therefore arithmetic mean of roots that is alpha and beta age a m age a m age alpha plus beta by 2 but it is given that arithmetic in age 8 alpha plus beta by 2 is equal to 8 and therefore alpha plus beta is 16 therefore alpha plus beta is 16 this is the first one also geometric mean of geometric mean of roots is gm which is under root ab alpha beta and that is given that this is 5 is equal to under root alpha beta and therefore alpha beta is equal to 25 this is second one and now quadratic equation you have heard about this if alpha beta are root of equation if alpha beta are roots of equation equation then quadratic equation is quadratic equation can be calculated as x square minus sum of roots into x plus product of roots is equal to 0 this is the formula so here we can write it x square minus alpha plus beta is what 16 x and alpha beta is 25 that is 0 so this is which is the required quadratic equation which is required equation and uh, it is in form of x square plus bx plus c uh, if uh, in question although it has not been asked uh, what is a then you can write it 1 what is b then minus 16 what is c then 25 you can compare but although it is not required to uh, write here so i hope you got this right now this is all about that's all about uh, geometric uh, progression and i hope you understood each and everything and there is no problem here so it you can uh, take it that it, uh, this is not required in fact okay you understood it x square plus bx plus c just i have given that the reference that quadratic equation will be in this form only right now so thank you thank you very much i hope uh, uh, you have enjoyed this topic and uh, we still uh, this is not completed uh, we will discuss uh, in next session uh, that's a special sequence so a special sequence will be discussed in the next session till then bye bye god bless